All right, guys, so this uh, video is in response to a question I often get on uh, my channel and a lot of videos and ask how to charge multiple 1S whoop style batteries, like the smaller ones for tiny whoops, uh, charge and also storage charge them. So um, I did make a video, it was about three and a half years ago, which I have uh, since deleted because uh, apparently uh, making these custom cables for doing this kind of thing is um, dangerous for people that don't don't know what they're doing. And I got some complaints from people that attempted to make the cable, the custom cable that I made in that video, and they ended up causing fires. So uh, that's why I took that video down. I took that video down a while back. Now I did make another video um, that uses a parallel charging board that I thought might be a little bit easier. But that has limitation in terms of uh, you have to make sure all the batteries are the same voltage. And uh, if it isn't, then that, that wasn't a very good solution. Now we have a good solution here. And it doesn't matter if the batteries aren't that close in voltage. We can uh, adjust for that. And this basically turns your multiple 1S batteries into um, a larger, you know, like 2S, 3S, up to 6S battery here. Now this is only for pH 2.0 style batteries, but if you have like a, a BT 2.0 battery, which I'm going to demonstrate here in this video, and you have an adapter, then, or actually this adapter here, then this should work. Now what this does is it just, if you put in like say two batteries, and then you use this little jumper, it's pretty simple. And then you put it on, I think it's on this one here. So there's only uh, six pins, so you have to jump for the second one for 2S. If you're doing 6S, then you, if you have six batteries, then you jump for the six, uh, the sixth one over here. Then you just plug this into your charger. This is the balance lead and the XD60. So let's go ahead and give us a test. Okay, so I got my charger and got the board plugged into here. I'm going to plug in two batteries to simulate a 2S battery. I plugged in the first one and detecting that voltage there, 4.13. Uh, second one plugged in, and that one's detecting it as 4.21. So they're not exactly the same voltage. And if you're using a parallel board, then this would probably not be a good idea. But since this is basically turning into a serial battery, uh, the charger should be able to handle the voltage difference and uh, basically adjust accordingly. So. Go into our settings here, and this is LiPo, of course. And whoops, I change the mode to storage charge. And um, we don't want too much discharge current here. Let's say one amp in voltage of 3.85 volts. And go ahead, start. And it'll storage charge it to. 3.85 volts and we can see our voltages here so basically I have a negative one amp draw on those and it's going to draw down the voltage on the two cells and so you know basically using the setup here with this little adapter board from fractal engineering it basically turns it into a 2s battery and then you can use your balance charger to actually balance the all the cells all at the same time uh, using a dis basically the storage function because this is the thing that was the hardest to figure out. There's really no good storage or discharge chargers out there for 1S. Now there's various little workarounds you can do to use these on 1S and I was considering making a video about that but that was also I was kind of worried that if someone didn't know what they're doing and did the and basically shorted something or did a reverse polarity on something then they would cause a battery fire so i elected not to make that video because there's a lot of people out there that just don't understand how dangerous these lipo batteries are and so making videos where um even though you're giving them all kinds of warnings about it uh, they still make the mistake and then poof uh, they end up destroying equipment or batteries or causing fires and so there's a lot of times people ask me to make videos but i just won't do it because i just know that 
someone out there will, will make a mistake and nothing, nothing, you know, they're not doing anything malicious or anything. It's just it's a, something, an oversight, you know, the common mistake that people make all the time just because they just overlook something and then we have a, lot, a big problem. So I'm really glad that there's actually solutions like this out now and you can use your various batteries. Just basically put in as many as you want. Make sure you have the proper jumper on there. Of course, if you don't jump very correctly, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a problem. So don't do that. Um, again, it's, you know, I'll put all the warnings out there. You know, if you if you put this on 3S here, it'll expect it to be a 3S battery, and it'll make this the third port live. And so it'll look like to the charger that there's nothing there. You get a warning on your charger saying, "Oh, you can't do anything." So usually the if you make, make a mistake here on the board, it will tell you on the charge board that, hey, there's something wrong. Um, I can't do anything. I'll stop actually doing anything. But you can see here we're continuing to draw down the voltage there. It is going to try and balance these cells out. Um, eventually, uh, it'll this will come down to 3.85, and it'll try and draw this one down further. You can see that the little red light there means that it's drawing down power on that particular cell. And it's actually doing a pretty... Pretty, pretty good job. It's doing it pretty fast, so it should be done pretty soon. So just in case uh, anything is a little unclear in this video, there is a full manual that you can download here at this URL. And of course, it comes on the packaging that it comes with. Uh, as far as I know, this is only available at Newbie Drone right now. Um, and a link will be down in the video description if you want to check it out. Yeah, I'm really glad that there's a solution out here now. So if you want to charge, discharge, storage charge, multiple... 1S whoop style batteries, obviously with the pH 2.0 connector or that with a, you know, with an adapter, like if you want to use the different batteries like the BT 2.0 or the GNB, I think it's with the GNB 47s. So if you have different types of batteries, you can use an adapter to plug them into here as long as it plugs into these pH 2.0 ports. You can make it look like it, it's a 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S battery and then use your, you know, smart charger and use all those functions in there to manage the charge and discharge of the batteries, which is great. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully this will help all you guys out there that were looking for a solution on how to, to work with these 1S batteries a little bit better. And that's going to do it for this one. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.